Hi everyone, today's video is all about five very easy small little changes that I've made to my diet over about the last year or so. Some of the changes are more recent, some of them are long term and they've been a bit more of a struggle. But I thought that I would talk about them because it's been a while since we did a health diet style video. And, um, and I do think that these things are quite important, they're quite important parts of, of my little routine that I have. Um, and this isn't about losing weight. It's not about that at all. If you've watched my previous videos, I'm not super skinny. I'm not about being super skinny. It's more about just kind of being fit and healthy and eradicating needless, pointless junk from your diet. So here we go. Um, hope you like my flowers, by the way. I bought these in Sainsbury's because um, they were on offer and they're really coming into their own. They're making me feel very spring-like. And in the background, we have some tulips from my auntie, which are very nice also. So the first change, which is probably um, the biggest one for me in terms of the hardest one, was giving up Diet Coke. Now, um, I was properly addicted to it and used to get a little bit annoyed if I couldn't have it. So I kind of thought that it was time to give it up. So I've been struggling with giving that up for years and years and years. And now I've done it, I've done a good few months now, don't miss it at all, um, completely kind of mind over matter. And now I have my cordials, kind of organic fruit cordials and things like that, if I need to have something that's a little bit more tasty than water. But my actual saving grace in this whole thing has been um, the water bar that I got sent from Virgin. Now, they've got this gadget that I think is really, really clever. It plums into your water mains and it provides you with boiling hot water if you want it for your herbal tea or with freezing cold water and that's a touch of a button. So it can do both at the same time, not literally at the same time, but there's one nozzle and it comes out of that. And so, um, you know, you just have to kind of wait 10, 20 seconds if you want boiling water. And I find that I'm drinking a lot more herbal tea and uh, just drinking a lot more plain water in general. I'm not saying that tap water is terrible, not by any means, I've drunk tap water for my whole life, but I find it quite novel being able to go to a machine and get a drink of water. If that makes any sense at all, it's the novelty of it. It makes me feel like I'm having something a little bit more special than water. And I've got quite into putting ice cubes in as well and that makes it feel a little bit like I'm drinking something a bit more special. So for me, it's just about kind of tarting up, tarting up the water and um, I've been using that a lot. It's something that I didn't think that I needed, but now that I've got it, I couldn't live without it. So that's my first change, no Diet Coke. Now the second change that I've made that's quite recent um, is that I've stopped drinking milk. I realized over the Christmas holidays that um, my acne that I had last year was caused by dairy. Not all kinds of dairy, just really milk and things that are very high in lactose. Um, and I've, I'm gonna do a video about this, but I've spoken to my doctor, I've spoken to a dermatologist, and that is definitely what it is. So um, I didn't drink tea or coffee anyway, so that's fine. No problem with cutting out milk in that instance, but my porridge, I was really, really missing. So I've swapped to hazelnut. It's not hazelnut milk, it's hazelnut drink because it's not milk at all. Um, I think it's just kind of mushed up hazelnuts with, with water, but it's bearable. The taste is bearable. And if you just need something to kind of wet your cereal or make porridge with, and you don't want to use water because that is actually quite gross, um, tasting then that's really really nice some people like the almond milk I like that too and some people like soy I'm not that keen on the taste of soy so this is the one that I've plumped for sweets I've got a really really sweet tooth if anybody ever sends me sweets or um, I walk past a pick and mix counter I often can't resist but over the last kind of six to twelve months I've been really trying to be good about my sugar intake and although the dried fruits I'm going to show you are obviously high in natural sugars. Um, it's not quite the same as eating a load of refined sugar in kind of Haribo Fantastics or whatever it is that I was eating. So I have been eating dried apricots, which I love. I've been eating those for years. Uh, but a new discovery for me, newer in the last year, is dates. Now, I always thought that dates looked really disgusting, like some kind of fossilised feces or something like that but um, they actually taste really really nice they're very toffee like it's almost like eating a healthy kind of toffee um, so if you haven't tried it before then give them a go because if you're looking for a kind of sugar fix 
but you don't want to eat sweets or chocolate and you want something that is still very sweet, that doesn't taste too fruity, then it's really, really nice. I get the medjool dates from Sainsbury's, which are lovely, but you know, feel free to have whatever dates you want. One more change that I've made in terms of trying to reduce my kind of refined carbohydrates intake, and because I love, love, love pasta, is using a lot of grains and pulses. These lentils, these are called poi lentils, and they're really, really tasty. They're very small and they kind of give this nice, almost risotto-ish texture to things. So it really bulks out a meal. If you're looking to put something with pasta, um, you know, like a really kind of nice rich tomato sauce or something like that, maybe you're having some fish and a lovely tomato-y vegetable sauce and you don't want to put it with pasta, then this is a really nice kind of bulker outer and it's very high in protein, um, but you don't have that kind of wheat content in there if you're just trying to reduce that down a little bit. So I find these sachets really, really useful. Um, you just kind of slit the top open and in they go and they don't really need that much heating through. So I've become quite attached to those sachets. You can also get the poi lentils in a tin um, and they do kind of quinoa and stuff like that in these pouches as well. They're very useful indeed. Now the last change uh, is one that I bought into our household about a year ago and that was when I went on a cooking course and um, they taught us how to make our own bread. Now I haven't quite been making my own bread from scratch and putting it in the oven but I did buy a bread maker. Now I think I've spoken about this bread maker before, it's a Cuisinart one, it looks quite attractive in the kitchen um, and you just bung all the ingredients in and then it makes the bread for you and it comes out really beautifully. You know, if you're making your own, it's basically like flour, water, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, some yeast. Um, and if you look at the back of a bread packet from shop-bought bread, you know, that's kind of Hovis or something like that, that's been sat on the shelf for a long time, it's just got scores of ingredients in there. So really I think that it's, it's kind of good if you can make your own takes about five minutes to put the ingredients together um, and you don't have to spend a lot on the bread making and get them a lot cheaper or just use your oven. But um, I don't really feel like I have the time to do all the kneading and proving and all that kind of stuff. So um, I use the bread maker and it works out really, really well. So I hope you found that useful. Maybe you've picked up on something um, that you yourself want to change in your diet might have given you a couple of ideas. You might have some ideas for me, in which case put those in the comments below. I'd be really, really happy to hear about them. If you want to read about my milk and acne little link that I made, um, then I've done a couple of posts on the website and I'll put some links in the information box below. So give us a big thumbs up if you want more health and diet style videos and uh, make sure you're subscribed and I shall see you next time.